Good afternoon and welcome to the live coverage of the Hero I League. It is match number 64 and Izol FC face a Mohammedan Sporting at the home of the Black Panthers. It is the Kishore Bharati Frirangan Kolkata. And have a look at the points table. Izol at 8, Mohammedan Sporting at 9th both. The lineup for Mohammed Sporting 4 3 3 Shankar Roy on goal. Few changes. Sarath Kima makes his way into the lineup. The tall centre back, Sheikh Shahil, in the centre of the park. Marcus Joseph, an unchanged lineup for Izol FC. Just one notable change from their previous fixture. Zaltan Mawiya makes way into the first 11 and the two highest assists, especially given that if you look at the home one of Mohammed Sporting, they are unbeaten at home this season. As centre backs of both the teams, interestingly, Kim Kima and Sairwat Kima finds himself in the black jerseys of the Black Panthers and Marcus Joseph. Teams with promising names. Marcus Joseph is the top scorer for a moment with four goals. And Henry Kisega, on the other hand, has only two goals, even though the two captains are ready for the toss. Marcus Joseph and Kim Kima. And there you and there we go, one of the heritages of Bengal in the form of Mohammedan Sporting. Well, head coach Kibu Vikuna, very familiar with Indian football. That's an interesting run forward. Now Henry Kiseka has a chance to shoot. Henry Kiseka, he is not in great form. He is not in great touch. Will he find the perfect cross and chips it forward? Header and that's the goal. Aizol FC take the lead against Mohammedan Sporting in Kolkata. And what a big goal that is for Henry Kiseka. And he had to score. He couldn't have missed that. And finally, he gets his third goal of the campaign. And what a cross. Perfect from Tharpuya. And we were talking about his contributions in Aizol's success with those assists. And here's one more of the assists from Aizol's highest assist provider. He's trying to do it all alone. Check Fayaz with a clever back heel to Fayaz. That's better from Mamadan. Marcus Joseph on his left goes for the shorter. Nowhere near the target. And finally, the toe poke, but still with Mohamedan a chance for a shot. Sebastian finds a pass. Marcus Joseph! It's 1 1. And just at the right time, it's Marcus Joseph who finds the equalizer. And Muansanga doesn't know what struck him. And that'll change. The halftime talks completely. And what a finish. Perfect from Marcus Joseph. Just allowed few seconds on the ball turns and there we go and it's half time at the Kishore Bharti Krirangan and that's the score at half time it's Mohammedan Sporting 1 Aizol FC 1 on with the second half it's Aizol FC in red from right to left of your screens here's Marcus Joseph open space for Dora past the defense past the keeper rather but uh, the offside flag is up and now on the overlap of Astapa's cross, uh, the slightest of touches from Wansanga. There's a number of players to aim for. There's Henry Kisega, and he's the man they find. And the offside flag has stayed down. It's number two for Henry Kisega. Slightest of touches from Henry Kisega. And Shankar Roy isn't happy with Sebastian's marking again. Emmanuel has a. Uh, Slotted in the back line as he's expected. The cross comes in. Muansang got troubled. There's a chance for Mamadan to convert it. Marcus Joseph, how does he not hit the target? And Milan Murzaev almost hurt Aizol FC. Muansanga did enough with his palm to get the cross off target onto the post, helping it out. No red shirt. It was straight to Marcus Joseph. Back-to-back -back attacks and lashing down on the eyes all defense. Mirlan Murzaev just not passing it and eventually will win a free kick. And he'll go charging at Lal Chani Masailo. And he knows uh, his intentions. He wants to get intentional from Ramsanga. And that is why Murzaev uh, was furious. There's the incident again. A challenge on Murzaev from Ramsanga. The foul and then Silo. Lal Chani Masailo goes into the book. It's a yellow card. Here's Milan Muzayev with the free kick. Straight to the hands. Not collected well. It wasn't a bad free kick. It was swinging. 
and difficult. And now on the counter, Izol FC with the pass forward. As Silo is interested in getting onto that one. There's a chance for Izol. Jacob has Silo in support. Will it be a goal? And saved by Shankar. Finally, a shot cleared away from the line by Keen Lewis. And ended the game at that point. And they could repent later for that miss. Three red shots. It was Silo's shot saved first and then Thurpuya's shot cleared off the line by Kian Lewis. And well, uh, there is a yellow card for Moon Sangha. I'm not sure if he was wasting much time there. Marcus Joseph and Milan Murzaev to get Mohammedan back on level terms. It will be Murzaev to Joseph. Will it be a shot? Deflected and it's 2 2. And what late drama. Once again, it's Marcus Joseph, the savior for the Black Panthers. And what great idea from Murzaev and Marcus Joseph. Unlucky deflection from the other captain, Kim Kima. Takes it into the back of the net. Unlucky eyes all. Once again, losing out from a leading position in the game. But is there more time? And that is the question. We are done with 12 and a half minutes. But there goes the full time whistle. The hero of the match with two goals in the game. Henry Kiseka for you. Match number 64. It's Mohamedan Sporting 2 and Izol FC 2.